black and white photography is based on displaying a full tonal range. That's from the blackest black to, to the whitest white and all the gray tones in between. And Ansel Adams was known for perfecting that. His prints had a quality about them that um, really jumped off the paper because they had a little bit of white, a little bit of black, and all the gray tones in between. So you call that, refer to that as a full tonal range. So the success of black and white really is to be able to capture that tonal range. And it's not only in the printing, it's the way the photograph is taken and the lighting conditions in which it is shot. So if you take a picture in what we call flat lighting conditions, for I might say with the sun overhead, the chances of getting that tonal range is not going to be as easy and as apparent as if you took it with the lighting conditions uh, where the sun was a lot lower in the sky. And in our tropical conditions, you have to go early morning to catch that or later in the afternoon. But during or from 10 o'clock on, between say 9 and 3, the lighting conditions are too harsh. The sun is over, overhead of the tropics and we don't get that angular light to give the, to help us get the full tonal range.